Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now this is about the latest tech. Once again today I have the Lenovo Z6 Pro here on my left hand side which released about a week ago and I have the Xiaomi Mi 9 on my right hand side here which released a couple months back though it is getting a global launch pretty soon which is really good to hear. Now both of these devices are paired with the latest and greatest Snapdragon 855 chipset. It is indeed 7 nanometer chipset technology so they should perform pretty similarly when it comes to something like this. Nevertheless we wouldn't do a test like this if it didn't come down to which one is indeed faster even though they're running the same hardware here it'll be really interesting to see which one can outdo the other within opening each and every individual app and then reopening them once again now before we get going on this speed test here guys i just want to let you know that i do have the 8 gigs of ram variant on the xiaomi on my right hand side here and i also have the 8 gigs of ram variants on the z6 pro here as well the z6 pro has liquid cooling in it as well so it should give it a bit of a better temperature in that department but on my right hand side here with the xiaomi we don't have anything other than just passive cooling on this side now the xiaomi does have quite a bit of a bump when it comes to the camera department over here guys the lenovo does as well but it's not as prominent nevertheless we're going to go ahead and pop the covers on both of these devices. As I just want to go ahead and show you that I have disabled animations on both of these phones under developer options on all three animation scales over here. So what you're seeing is complete raw performance of these two beasts. So to ensure that things are going to be as even as possible here guys, I am going to be using my trusted little GoPro at the bottom down over here so that you guys can see that my taps are indeed as accurate as possible. Guys, these phones are both incredible to say the least. I'm really excited to see how they stack up here and in order to do so, I have now included a round zero which is going to be for that boot up, the fingerprint unlock and the facial recognition as well. Round one is going to be from camera all the way down to PUBG and round two is going to be from PUBG all the way back up to camera to test out that RAM management. Guys, this is Technic and without further ado, let's go. Okay guys, so keep an eye out at the top right hand corner for my GoPro footage over there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and boot both of these devices on at the exact same time. Three, two, one. Okay, both of them got their little vibrator over there. Now I know that this is not the most interesting to see the boot up speeds, but it is kind of interesting to see because a lot of people do turn their phones off at night and when they when they go into exam hall, so on and so forth. So it will, should be interesting to see which can indeed boot up faster. And we actually have the Lenovo Z6 booting up faster here, though the Xiaomi have won previous rounds with other devices. Okay, now it's gonna be pretty interesting to see which one can actually load the app icons first. So let's go ahead and do that. Three, two, one. Okay, so I think the Xiaomi took the cake over there, but with regards to this test, guys, I'm going to be giving a point system by slowing down the footage while I edit, and I'm going to be giving the point to whichever phone opened the app quicker. Okay, so we'll give that point to Xiaomi over there, but nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and test out this wonderful fingerprint recognition. Now, both of these have optical scanners, guys. They are not the ultrasonic scanners that you see in the S10 Plus. So I'm going to go ahead over here and unlock both of these devices and do it from the lock screen. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, very, very similar here, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and test it out again. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit fast on the Xiaomi there that time for sure, guys. Let's go ahead and test it again. Both on the lock screens and three, two, one. Definitely a little bit snappier on the Xiaomi, so we'll definitely give it to them. Now we're gonna go ahead and test our facial recognition, which I did register today with my hat on on both devices, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Three, two, one. Xiaomi a little bit quicker over there. Let's go again. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit faster on the Xiaomi. Let's try one more time. Three, two, one. Okay, definitely faster on the Xiaomi when it comes to facial recognition, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go and do round one from the camera all the way down to PUBG and then PUBG all the way back up to camera for round two, guys. Okay, before we get going, guys, just to show you that I have no apps running in the background on either device, I am now gonna go ahead and start with camera. Three, two, one. Okay, slightly faster on the Xiaomi, I think. I'm gonna have to recheck that one. Now let's go ahead and take a snap. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit quicker on the Lenovo, I think. Once again, I'll have to check that one out. Okay, let's jump into gallery, three, two, one. Okay, a little bit quicker on the Xiaomi for sure. Let's open up that picture we just took. A little bit quicker on the Xiaomi, once again there, guys. Let's go back and open up calculator, three, two, one. Okay, pretty much the same. I'll have to check that one. Let's open up phone, three, two, one. Okay, I think a little bit quicker on the Lenovo. Check that one once again. Let's open up settings. 
very similar here guys these phones are very similar but they do have the same processing chip in so i wouldn't expect anything less spotify definitely faster on the mi 9 let's go back and open up astral vpn three two one since we need a vpn in china and faster on the lenovo lenovo will score a point over there and let's go ahead and turn them on three two one okay a little bit quick on the xiaomi xiaomi will get a point over there now let's go back and open up facebook three two one okay very similar here guys oh very very similar okay the lenovo a little bit quicker so it'll get the point over there let's open up instagram three two one okay very similar once again guys like i said i'm gonna have to slow this clip down to see which one indeed does win let's go into twitter three two one okay definitely faster on the xiaomi that time around guys let's go ahead and open up our next app which is youtube three two one okay we definitely have it in there with the lenovo is definitely faster let's go back and check out netflix three two one okay very similar let's go hit on my profile three to one okay slightly quicker on the lenovo there that time guys okay let's go to our next app which is photoshop three to one okay very similar once again guys let's open up that photo that we just took i think slightly quicker on the lenovo now let's go ahead and export it to gallery three to one okay saved slightly quicker on the lenovo for sure that time guys so lenovo will get a point there let's go ahead and open up adobe clip three to one Okay, very similar there guys. We're gonna go ahead and open up this clip and we're gonna go ahead and export it as well. Okay, so we're gonna hit save to gallery. Full HD on both, three, two, one. Saving to gallery, who's gonna take the RAM speed test? I think the Xiaomi was slightly faster, but I'll have to check that again and get back to you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome, three, two, one. Okay, very, very neck and neck there guys. Let's go ahead and open up Subway Surfer, three, two, one. Okay, let's see who's gonna take it in the first round of our games over here. Once again, very similar there, guys. Let's go up and at them and go back to our home screen and click on flip diving, our second game, three, two, one. Okay, flip diving is always pretty similar on these devices as you guys may have seen before, but it looks like the Lenovo took it over there. Okay, and let's go back out of here and go into our third game, which is Angry Bird, three, two, one. Who's going to take it with Angry Birds, which is a little bit more graphic intense than the other two games that we've tested. Okay, it looks like the Xiaomi has indeed taken that one. Let's go back to our home screen and click Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. I'm just going to let it ride all the way to the temple and not tap anything on the screen to see which one gets that Play Now button first to determine the winner. And it is indeed the... Oh, jeez, guys, that is so similar. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let's go back out there. Now let's hit our most heavy intense app of the bunch, which is PUBG Mobile. Three, two, one. Okay, this should be pretty interesting. I'm sure that you guys know that this game definitely takes longer to load than most apps on your phone as it requires the most performance out of your phone. Though neither of these phones should take fairly long since they are both rocking very very stellar snapdragon 855 chipsets in guys pretty much top dogs until the end of the year and that next one comes out next year who knows what it'll be called nevertheless let's see which one is going to win in this pubg mobile test and the xiaomi definitely takes it over there guys so let's just hit escape i do have both of them on the latest graphics settings right up to the max okay so let's go back and let's start out with round two guys we're going to go all the way from pubg mobile all the way back up to camera to test out that ram management both of them do have eight gigs of ram indeed so they should be pretty similar and i have indeed disabled all battery optimizations for all of these apps over here so let's go ahead three two one very very neck and neck over there guys let's go back up let's test out our next one which is temple run two three two one Okay, very similar once again, guys. Let's go back and test out Angry Birds. Three, two, one. <sighs> guys, I can't tell you how similar this looks from like a, a normal perspective, but I mean, who's to say the point system? Oh yeah, definitely on the Xiaomi over there. When I slow these down, things are gonna be quite different, guys, I must say. Let's hit into Subway Surfers. Three, two, one. Okay, it looked to be quicker on the Xiaomi over there, even though it did something a little bit strange. Let's open up Google Chrome. Three, two, one. Okay, I think it was slightly quicker on the Xiaomi Adobe Clip. Very, very similar there, guys. Photoshop Express. Once again, very similar, guys. Both of them are keeping them up and running, which is good. Netflix. 
Okay, I think a tiny bit faster on the Xiaomi that time, but they're both keeping them up, so that's good. YouTube, very similar as well. Let's hit into Twitter, three, two, one. Okay, so the optimization for battery is off, but it looked like the Xiaomi had to open that up, so the Lenovo will definitely get the point. Let's open up Instagram. Once again, the Xiaomi's poor RAM management loses that point over there, and it goes ahead to the Lenovo. Facebook. Okay, it kept it open. Which one's gonna load quicker? The Lenovo definitely did, so the Lenovo will get the point over there. And let's head over to Astral VPN, three to one. A little bit quicker on the Lenovo. Let's go ahead and turn the VPN off, three to one. Okay, so it turned off quicker on the Xiaomi, so the Xiaomi will get the points that actually turned off quicker and turned on quicker. Let's go ahead and open up Spotify, three to one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck there, guys. Let's open up some system apps over here. So let's go into settings, three, two, one. Okay, had to be reopened on the Xiaomi once again. It was open on the Lenovo. Lenovo will get a point, so let's open up phone. Three, two, one. Once again, had to be reopened on the Xiaomi. Guys, that's ridiculous, but it has been the, the thing with all of the tests that I have done on the Xiaomi. Let's open up calculator. Okay, once again, same case over there. Lenovo gets a point. Gallery, three, two, one. Okay, so Lenovo ran it faster, but the Xiaomi thankfully kept that open this time. Dark mode is off over here, guys, just to show you. But for some reason, the gallery app on the Lenovo is just slightly dark. Let's go ahead and open up camera, three, two, one. Okay, so the Xiaomi had to reopen it and the Lenovo definitely got the point that time around, guys. Final results in and it is actually a tie. Round one, the Xiaomi Mi 9 definitely had the Lenovo Z6 Pro by not that much, only two points. And in round two, you can clearly see the RAM difference between the two phones with the Z6 Pro four points ahead of the Xiaomi Mi 9 when going back through all of the apps. Nevertheless, in round zero, the Xiaomi did definitely beat the Lenovo when it came to face unlock and fingerprint sensor unlock, as well as loading the app icons. But guys, it's much of a muchness between these two phones. They're both great in their own special ways. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, this is Technic.